Ladies and gentlemen, Lear's over the building! Hell yeah, yeah, yeah! What's up? What's up, dude? What's good, man? How are you? Oh, I like your setup. Good, yourself? Doing excellent, doing excellent. Uh, if you could, could you please properly introduce yourself, let us know whereabouts in the world you are, and plug or promote anything you'd like. Hell yeah. My name is Lyrazone. I am a horrorcore artist from Vancouver, Washington. Uh, you recognize me usually with the blue mask on, which I probably show wore initially, but now you're seeing it. But I figure, why not be a human today? That's cool. Uh, essentially, essentially uh, you probably heard me from Parasite with Kung Fu, with Kung Fu Vampire, Twisted Insane. Um, I had a recent Halloween single, Why Can't I, from a short film, Dead Focus. Um, yeah, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. And uh, yeah. So, like, so the horrorcore world much- is treating you well right now, as far as your music kind of getting yes. out there, pretty pretty good. Yes, sir. How, how how do you go about getting your music in a film? Like, is that something a manager does, or is that you just hit, um, blasting your stuff everywhere? Or not, the, short, the short film I actually made with my friend Mike Ward, and it's actually our short film because uh, we took the song itself and we wanted to make an actual film out of it. So essentially, it's a post apocalyptic. I don't want to give too much of it. But it's a post-apocalyptic actual time period. Uh, the world goes to hell in a handbasket. No one knows why. If it's infection, famine, yada, yada. Um, but essentially, Lyrazone is this character who is the byproduct of his situation. And you see pretty much that the whole film of Eddie, the character, trying to survive, um, takes pretty much bears his whole house and just says, hey, I'm going to go ahead and stay here. The world's crappy outside. I don't want to do anything besides go out there. So let's do it. Well, he gets bit, and spoiler alert, Lyrazone comes, kills him, and then you see toward the end of the film where it's a little more of a gory snuff type piece, but excellent. It's excellent. A little bit artsy. So gory but yeah, is good. It's a it's a really cool one. So yeah, it's most of my sound design and music itself is basically making a horror film into an actual audio track. It's not mostly the what I pride myself on is not every song is not going to be the same exact thing. It's going to be a different scenario, different scene. So that's where I draw my love for the passion. So hell yeah, cool. Um, I'm going to play one of your tracks real quick so people know uh, what what your sound sounds like so they can uh, get a better understanding of you. And then we'll ask. We got a bunch more questions. Were you uh, were you always an MC under the persona of the mask or is that something that kind of came a little bit later? Uh, that was actually pretty recent. Um, I want to say about four years ago is when I actually took the mask up and actually made the entity Lyrazone. Um, when I first started, I was mostly just regular hip hop artist. Um, I was doing ciphers out of South Carolina. Uh, basically, that, that was just, just under your re- your yeah your born girth your birth name. Yeah. Okay. And I slowly turned into more of the more rock side metal, and then just made the image. Hell yeah. What's the best horror movie you've ever seen? Ah, oh, there's a good bit. You're talking about like more. I'm more of the black and white early because I was seeing more like Dracula. Um, I see like the OGs, the classics, like, the classics. Yeah. Bram uh, Stoker's Dracula. Is OG. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big horror fan as far as especially right now, just like black and white because um, this is actually a full fun fact. Um, when we were making the blood for the ending scene for dead focus i was like so how can i find a blood that's actually consistent and it's cool for like effects and i was like so i started looking at films i realized they used chocolate syrup back in the day because they ran out of blood they used chocolate syrup because the consistency and the thickness of it and it's black and white you can't tell if it's blood or not Mm -hmm. um so i used that substance and it did pretty well so i was like i just love film in itself especially horror itself because especially the ones that are not like in your face with all like the effects and it's like more hidden and undertone so that's cool i can dig that uh chad says we absolutely have to play country carvin diner sounds good can you can, yeah. can you go into uh this particular song like what it means to you or why you wrote about this oh one? oh yeah um well this one's actually uh my personal favorite uh because essentially what i do currently is a meat cutter so this is currently what i do and 
my homie O Fortune hit me up and said, hey, so let's do a track. It's been a very long time. And I was like, cool. What do you want to write about? And he's like, well, we both have a niche and we both love our actual horror content. What can we do that's, I guess, more of a homage? And I was like, well, have you ever seen Blood Diner? And he's like, Blood Diner? I was like, yeah, it's a theme where the film is basically where this guy is making this diner and he's running a kill shop in the back. And it's just really, really in-depth. Um, you guys should look it up. It's on Shutter. Uh, essentially where I told him, I was like, let's make something like that, but also Lirazone isk. So I took the country carbon diner idea and made it to where this guy is pretty much fucked up in the head. And you can hear kind of like he has mannerisms that he's holding back a certain personality. Uh, this one is where Lirazone is entity or a character that plays the cook and owner of the diner. Where... My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just muted that. I knew that was going to happen sooner or later, so I just muted it, and literally it beat me to it by a second. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no worries. It's all good. Um, but yeah, essentially the whole storyline is you see the from the start to finish how this guy's running the shop and where this character comes and is the slaughterer, per se, and attains the meat. So it's, so like I said, a horror film in audio form. You get, from the very start, you get to hear kind of like, Lyra's own cooking in the background. And I had me and Josh where we had found sound effects and we also found ways where even when I was having a snowstorm here, you're gonna hear a plate clasping inside to where I actually did the Foley here in the studio where I took the uh, plates and clashed them together to give the ambience of an actual Hell kitchen. Oh yeah. So I went yeah. to- uh, I How much I, thought you putting into all of this? Jesus Christ. I went, yeah, I I, it. I went to uh, to this, this college called Full Sail for audio production and one of my favorite months there or one of my favorite classes there was uh was Foley class where we had to do like every single little thing. Like you'd get a scene from a movie like a minute long and it would take a couple of days to add every single sound, like from <laughs> footsteps to the dialogue, to the ambient white noise in the background, the music it's, it's Foley's fun. I like it. Country There's YouTube yeah. videos of that. And it's sick. Yeah. Country carve and diner. How do you make all the beats? Do you have actual musicians or are you just wicked good at MIDI? Um, believe it or not, this is actually, uh, Ill Fortune produced it and I had me and Josh make more of a, there's two versions. Uh, this one is the Lyra's own perspective. And there is a second one we did, um, where it's more the hip hop side. It's not too much on the metal. Uh, you can hear a lot more live drum in this one. Um, because essentially what we were trying to do in the beginning was make two versions for both our projects. Um, Hunter, I love you. Gotta tell you about this. Uh, essentially... Uh, he did one where it's more his perspective as far as him hunting and gathering, and we pretty much made it to where both our projects somewhat coexisted, where it's different perspective, and it all comes together in like some cool little storyline type things. Uh, but this one was definitely the metal side. Uh, Joshua Holland of Greenlight Studios co-produced this one. Um, he did the guitar work, uh, the live drum. I, I mostly did the vocals and help with the effects as far as the video stuff. Um, but yeah, it was a really, really cool experience. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones so far. Parasite, I've seen Parasite being requested too. That's that's one I'm pretty much known for because it's one of those personal ones. So yeah. we'll, we'll get to that one shortly here. Uh, Lloyd, what questions do you have for uh, for Lirza? Yo, so I'm going to put you in two scenarios. I'm going to put you in whatever horror movies you want to be in. In one of these, who would you, what is your favorite horror character that you would want to be? And then the other one, who is your favorite horror character that you would want to hunt? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Mm. All right. So, uh, okay. That's good. That leaves me a lot of options. Um, okay. As far as the one that I want to hunt, um, yeah. I'm more paranormal as far as, like, I love the afterthought of there being, like, an entity or spirit. Um, Sinister was probably one of my favorite ones for a little bit. But it was, it's a little hard as far as people actually enjoy it because it has its flaws. Um, but as far as like, I'm always a Jason Voorhees fan, which I don't know if you guys see me, art behind me, but mm. huge fan. Uh, but I'd probably be like one of those comedy pieces I'd probably do, like satire. Um, oh. But as far as one to be, if yeah, that was the want... question, what I want to be, um, obviously the new Chucky. <laughs> Not really. <Ooh. laughs> Just kidding, old Chuck. Come on, not, Andy, you want to play? Not the not the actual chip in your body that makes you, 
you're literally a toy. You just have a chip. No, it's actually there's more of a storyline. I don't know why they did that, where essentially they had a chip or a faulty chip. Like I just thought that was a, a cop out. Because it's technology. Like, our whole I have, around it. I I want to answer yeah, this question no. too, if I can. My I'm hunting the bad guys. Answer is the nerdy guy from space in Critters. That's in all the Critter movies. Okay. I don't remember his name off the top of my head. And then if I was the killer, I would want to be uh, probably Jigsaw. Jigsaw is my favorite horror character, like a horror person, just because okay. he has a reason why he, he gives people a chance. I want to beat the shit out of him, and I want to be Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Hell yeah. Freddy Krueger would be cool. Head. Bro, but you can't hide, bitch. <laughs> you say why Pinhead? Hell yeah. Yeah. Why That's Pinhead? I never liked Pinhead out of all of them. He was like, it was, I don't know if I watched that shit too early and stuff, but he just bored the fuck out of me. The story was, behind him is fucking amazing if you start getting into like the puzzle box and all this weird right. shit and the monsters, but I just, he never did nothing for me. He was boring to me. It's for, a very slow burn as far as the whole thing, especially for itself. Like, uh, let me turn this over real quick. But essentially, I felt like for Pinhead and Hellraiser itself, it was a very, very slow buildup. Mm. Um, even myself being a huge fan of it. Like, I am looking forward to the new one because it's supposed to have Clyde Barker and it's supposed to be actually built again the way it should be. But, like, in the space stuff, like, was it Jason X? Like, his next was good too, but come on. Like, yeah, it was why? not good. <laughs> what was the Jason where like... the dude ate Jason's heart and became Jason? That's the only one I vaguely remember all the time. Oh, man. <sighs> there was a Jason movie where some dude took Jason's heart and went blah 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 blah, blah and he like slowly turned into uh, Jason. I think that's the one where he like he like stabs or no that's it's the one after he stabs the pole in the cemetery and the lightning strikes and brings him back. I think it's after that. <laughs> but uh let's check out Parasite real quick. Oh yeah. And then I want to oh, know Lear Zone, then I want you to shout out a couple of uh local artists in your area that you're feeling that we need to know. Oh yeah. Lear Zone with Parasite. Now, uh, oh yeah, who are some local artists that you want to shout out? Just think about it for one second, real quick. I'm gonna spin the wheel. I owe somebody cool. a spin. Could land oh, yeah. on something fun. Could land on something crazy. Let us see. All right, Lear Zone. What's a song that you you hated? Almost your entire life, but for some reason you just don't hate it anymore. Uh, Ramallah, Days of Revenge. Definitely. I don't think I know that song. Like, uh, it's, it's, you should look it up. <laughs> it's really good. Um, but, uh, essentially as far as bands to shout out, um, we'll do all three. I'll do a graphic design, an artist, and a photographer. Um, so graphic design, Crossfade Designs UK, uh, Barnaby. Uh, bands, uh, Beautiful Skeletons, based out of Portland. Uh, rock bands, alternative metal. Um, we're going to do a model set. Uh, we'll do Mike Ward and... Yeah, we should do Mike Ward, because that's the homie. Uh, but yeah, and then as far as now, as far as local, uh, Des Loca over in Seattle. I believe it's still in Seattle. Um, and then we have Empress... But she's a hip hop hip hop artist in Portland. Yeah. Did so, I spell this correct? Des yeah, Loca? Uh I think that's his name. It did not come up. L O C C A. C C A. It should be the same word. I think it's the same um same word. Here it is. This is the right thing? Des Loca? Yeah. Let's check this out. Hell yeah, that's cool. I can dig it. That's not bad. It kind of has that like same horrorcore vibe too, like a little bit kind of creepy yeah. edge to it. That's not right. bad. And that's yeah. why kind. That's why kind of something a little different. I wanted more of the metal side of the hip hop because there's a lot of like horrorcore actual hip hop's actual theme, but I've been trying to do a little more of the metal side. So and that's why I feel I separate from the rest a little bit. Psycho beats. Do you know schizo beats? I haven't heard them before. Schizo Beats. This is kind of yeah, like first time. similar similar avenue to at Schizo Beats on uh, on Facebook out of Flint, Michigan. Okay. Mind Just control. My Do you collect? I feel like Lear Zone and Schizo would have a good horror battle, yo. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, it's gonna say something similar to that actually, but uh, do you do you collect horror autographs? Uh, I haven't. Um, that's so you don't go to like horror cons, like cons or anything like that, to meet 
like Doug um, Bradley I or haven't. I've been more in a like I want to sound vain, but more on the musician side, like trying to do more shows. Um, I love doing horror cons as far as like everybody get together. Um, but I haven't seen that many out here just yet. Um, especially for once, I guess I haven't been in the Vancouver scene enough. My dad moved out here about four years ago. Um, so where'd you move from? The actual like area. I'm from South Carolina. Okay, uh, Somerville. Cool. So across the world. <laughs> there you go. Uh, scoundrels up next. Scoundrel can be found at at Brews Brujas and Blunts. Literally that on Facebook. <laughs> Scoundrel with Dead. Learzone, who's a who's an artist that you haven't had the opportunity to collab with that you really want to work with? And JB, you get to add something to the wheel that we it might land on that we have to do. But Learson, did you hear that one? Uh, who's someone that you want to work with that you haven't got a, had the opportunity to do a collab with yet? Uh, well, the bucket list right now is uh, Whitney Payton. Uh, see Whitney and then Payton, P-E-T or P-E-Y-T-O-N. Uh, I've wanted to work with her for, for a long time. I mean, she's awesome. I've seen her live a couple times. Um, and she's a really cool person. That would be a good vibe as far as making songs together. So she's one of the have like band name Samora. Yeah, there's an artist called Samora, but uh, that's not the same person. But she's one of the leaders of like that category too, right? The kind of like emo hip hop, like I don't really know what you call that genre, but that style of hip hop. I don't think so. No, it's actually something totally different. Her uh, her style is actually polar opposite, which I think would be a little bit of an interesting track because I don't think she's. She's done a little bit as far as like dabble a little bit in dark stuff, but she hasn't really. She's been more of not a mainstream sound as far as polished, but I would say a little more on the lighter side. Um, but she has done some tracks where it really like smacks you in the face. Like her recent work now is like, damn, like let's take a step back for a second. But, uh, Mac. But yeah, but yeah, I went working for work for a long time. I mean, she's a cool person. So. <laughs> Hell yeah, Friday. Yes. Let's check out Samora, and then we're going to jump over to your Spotify in here in a second. Let's go ahead and jump over here. Lloyd, what happened to Wendy's, dude? Wendy's wasn't good enough today? You had to go to Burger no, King No, I route. tried to go to motherfucking Sonic. I waited 15 minutes while knowing yeah. I had to rush home, and they were out of popcorn chicken and a uh, burger thing that I ordered. Jeez. You know what I that was is. Fucking pissed. That I ran is home absolute and I shit. Flipped out Horse and then Kaylee shit. volunteered Horse to go to make the shit. Burger King. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, for real, I was pissed. You guys sell chicken here. That's like your biggest thing. You don't got no chicken. That I mean, a chicken. <laughs> There's that. We got time for one more, brother. Anything from your catalog, you get to select. Why do we need to hear this particular track? Okay, um, we'll probably do the Why Can't I one, because I think you guys did it last time, but essentially I'll give you a little background before, because uh, I think last time we didn't do a background on it. Uh, this one is, like I told you guys earlier, the horror short film we did. Uh, this one essentially is going to be fun as far as hearing it for the first time if anyone's here. If you're, um, essentially you have slap bass into it, which me and Josh, if you go to Instagram, uh, go at, at GLS Josh on Instagram and you'll pretty much find a video where he actually was doing the slap bass on it and trying to figure out how to make it work. Um, this one is also my first collaboration with a female vocalist, uh, Tina Firefly from Beautiful Skeletons. Uh, she did the background vocals on two of the choruses as well as the bridge toward the very far end. Um, this one, I think I was requested in the chat and also I personally love this one because I feel like this is more the fun side and I got to do a lot more double timing as far as actual spitting. Um, and the song structure was a lot different than I'm used to. So that's always a challenge is always a favorite when it comes to like being an artist or a rapper. So, yeah. Yo, what if you're about to have a rap battle with someone and you were like, yo, spit that shit. And they just started spitting, like literally spitting at you. Would you be mad or you would have to accept it because you asked? Oh, I would try to find... <laughs> I'll try to find a, an actual mask on. That's why I wear it. I wear a mask, I have to really worry about it now. Currently, I was like, hey, so your breath's hot. So go another way. Stay back but a little bit. Appreciate you trying to talk to me directly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> why can't I? Guys, if you're having fun, please 
Follow Lear Zone, hit the follow button just like I have. That'd be fantastic. Absolutely supportive and deserves it. Dude, that's my favorite one so far. That one is an yeah. ultra banger for sure. Have you, Thank you. Have you reached out to like psychopathic records or anything like that to try to uh, jump on? I have not actually. Um, I haven't. Uh, be a lot I, cooler if you did. <laughs> be a lot cooler if you did. All right, all right. Yeah, It'd be a lot <laughs> cooler if you um, did. <laughs> I, I probably should. I mean, I've been trying to like see if I can get the team together, do a gathering, and just to try it out. Um, I know a couple of the gatherings been switched over as far as states. Um, I mean, it's always a possibility. I mean, a lot of bands still do it. I mean, it would only get me more close to the family and get one known together and show it everyone. So it's always a positive vibe. Oh yeah, always. Even when it comes to even when it comes to killing music and killing people in music, it's always positive vibe. Man, always. Toretto would have loved that you said family, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most <laughs> important thing is you keep it positive. <laughs> family. The most important thing is you keep it positive for sure. Well, I like you, bro. Learzone, you're fun, man. Yeah, <laughs> I try to be. Dude, this was a lot of fun. Uh, one more time, plug or promote anything you like. But, uh, brother, we appreciate you spending some time with us and hanging out with us. Uh, but once again, plug any any social media links that you'd like or just anything you have coming up in the rest of the year, whatever you'd like. Drop the Absolutely. OnlyFans, bro. We know you got it. OnlyFans at Lyrazone.com. Just kidding. Ah. Uh, <laughs> um, but seriously, though, Lyrazone.com, www.lyrizone for all Lyrazone know-how music. Uh, the website is live. You can get merchandise there. You can get a subscription and get some early releases. Wink, wink. Um, especially since we have a photo shoot for Sunday, which I have three different sets. Uh, one's going to be a merchandise production for Friday 13th. Um, mm -hmm. I got some cool merch in. I'm going to go ahead and do a photo shoot for. Um, I got some cool stuff I want to show you guys as far as location. Uh, yeah, and go to... Find me everywhere right now as far as streaming. You find me on Spotify, obviously. You will find me on SoundCloud. You'll find me literally on YouTube. Get yeah, just go YouTube. Subscribe there too because you got visuals there, music videos. I do gameplays, literally everything there as far as visual work. Um, but yeah, just look up for Lira Zone and wherever you find me, go ahead and hit a follow and subscribe. Who, who'd you say once yeah, again that did? Don't you do, bro? <laughs> Who'd you say um, once again that um, did that does your album artwork? Can you plug that person again? Because I really I really dig the album oh, artwork, each yeah. individual thing. Uh, the for why can't I? I actually have three people. Uh, the why can't I was done by Butterface Creations, um, two words. Uh, essentially, then also for Sweet Relief. Unfortunately, I haven't got a hold of that guy for a while. It's been a very long time. Um, and for Country Carp and Diner was done by Dickles, a brain sick. <laughs> um and also retro injection which gets you to the far right um that one is done for uh kill a tour from corp circus so yeah i go a little bit everywhere but butterface creations is my guy because he does literally everything he's done sticker designs for me now um i pretty much have him doing literally everything you name it and also five milligrams uh that's my graphic design guy too he's doing bomber jackets for me but uh yeah butterface designs um, you can find him on literally everywhere. He has a, actually a Patreon too as well, um, which I f after this, when you guys are still going, because you have somebody else to interview too, I'll go ahead and go in chat and drop a, a link to his place. Um, but yeah, that's where you find me. You can find me literally everywhere these days. So, yeah. That was the most plugs ever, dude. That was awesome. Yeah, this Hell is yeah. on it, dude. <laughs> Try, man. It, it, He's not it's, fucking it's, around. It's, it's called the underground. We help each other out for a reason. I mean, that is amazing. One I, succeed, we all succeed. I so. love that. Uh, once again, dude, thank you so much for, for spending some time with us. We appreciate you. Uh, much success to you thank in 2022. You. Ladies and gentlemen, Lira Zone. Give him a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day, sir. Thanks for hanging. <laughs>